Hey guys, um, I'm making this video because this knot is, believe it or not, um, probably a knot that is very misrepresented uh, in the internet. I've watched a bunch of videos, I actually looked for, I mean if you could google it, you'll, you'll see it, that there's just tons of these videos and even step-by-step um, -step instructionals and, and they get it wrong, okay? Um, obviously, as you see in the title, it's the Duncan Knot, or sorry, the Duncan Loop. And what they show is actually a uni knot or a uni loop. So I'm going to show you how they do it, okay? Uh, pass the line through there and make a loop around and tie it off like so adjust the loop okay to your desired size pull straight cut the tag and that's it okay so that's what they show online that's wrong okay i'll tell you right now that's wrong okay the duncan loop is supposed to be a non-slip loop okay Man, these, these things are sharp. So, I'll show you exactly what this knot is supposed to look like, or what it is, okay? The proper way of tying, tying this. And this is actually my preferred knot for loops, rather than having a non-slip loop, which requires an overhand knot, you know? Because this is just faster. Again, if you like the non-slip loop, that's fine, but it's nice to learn something if you, you know, if you get used to it, it's actually quite fast. So, with a uni loop, or what they show you online for, uh, in the videos and step-by-steps, you go through underneath the eye. You're supposed to go down from the top of the eye okay and here's where the difference is okay instead of creating a loop here you actually make a loop of line from the standing part not the tag okay and then you go through that okay exactly as how you do your uni okay same thing. I have a video that shows how I tie the uni knot, and it's like this. So, if you want, you can watch that other video. Uh, I tie mine with with my um, my uh, both my my ha uh, fingers and both hands to just make things easier. Okay. So cinch it down. Okay, cut the tag. There it is. Now, watch this. I'm going to pull on this as hard as I could. It doesn't slip. That is the Duncan loop. Okay? I'll do it again. Lower this time so you guys can see. Make some space here. Okay. So you go down from the top of the eye going down. And then make a loop. on the standing end then pass your tag end three four times in the loop that you've created from the standing end okay 
you can adjust the size of your loop by pulling on the standing end and you can tighten this knot and lock it down with the tag okay there it is okay let's try that with a lure that's a bit different than a hook because it's sideways so what we're gonna do is a pair of pliers to help us out here this is 60 pound okay I'll show you that 60 pound mono uh, liter material okay just for your reference okay so either either side I like I like going the opposite okay so instead of putting in the side near you put it the side farther okay again a loop there okay inside okay one two three Four, like so okay pull tight pull the tag and you have again a non-slip loop okay now I made it big but you can make it small um, it's just so that you see the loop all right so let's try to make it as small as possible okay like so Okay. Now, to make the loop smaller, you pull on the tag before you pull on the standing end. You'll see that it'll go close, okay? That to tighten the knot, you pull on the standing end. Pull on the tag again to secure the knot. Of course, you're going to wet it with saliva and all that before you tighten it. That's pretty much standard. Everyone knows that. Okay. There you go. And that's with 60 pound test line. Again, I'll pull on this as hard as I could. It doesn't slip. Okay. Try it with a soft plastic. Same thing. Farther, farthest side from you. Insert it from there. Make a loop. Okay, like so. From the standing end. Okay, hold it with your fingers. Insert and do that four times pull on the tag to make the loop small Pull tight, and there you have it. You're done, Kindle.